Hello everybody, Chad here with another recent trade update. This is my trade from March 1st. Actually, uh, I didn't have a chance to actually do this video when I took the trade live, but found some time today and it's moving out very nice to go ahead and show you exactly why I entered this trade. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't quite catch it during class. It was about the 15 minutes after class that I took this trade, but uh, right as class was ending, the the market's showing the, the two pins to the high formation is, is showing us that we're taking out stops. Uh, trying to poke above, this is the, uh, the hourly 200 EMA. You get it on your chart by putting uh, 800 on your uh, 50 minute chart. So the reason that I was pretty sure that the market was going short this day was uh, we're coming off of a level two formation of the smart money trend. Smart money trend comes up in three three levels to this peak up back in here, makes one level down, a second level down. So actually it was third level, I'm sorry, not the we're expecting three levels. So at this point it's it's made one then two should make a third what happens is is the market comes down and uh, they take out stops to the low make an attempt to take out stops to the high and it runs off now as far as this goes you can see how where I'm fixing to take my profits is is using our, our 90 pip range tool which uh, we go over a little bit more extensively in the class, but more or less what it is is just you know something that has to do with the the average daily range being in the neighborhood of 100 to you know 120 pips or whatnot, and and the the 90 pips from the higher low is 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 a rather safe place to go ahead and take put your take profit. And at this point, uh, what I like to do when I use this thing is that if I see it approaching it this quick like this, then I go ahead and move my uh, take profit out of the market a, a bit further to see if it's going to give me a little bit more but as it stands I'm going to go ahead and put the crosshairs on see exactly where I'm at uh, about 68 pips would have been uh, 72 if I let it hit that take profit down there uh, and actually I would I, I probably would have been hit a little bit less than that because I like to keep it just a little bit above that but uh, but at this point now it's showing that you know the smart money actually may be starting to do a little trap to the bottom here if it doesn't actually start moving off here in the next uh, two candles I'm just going to go ahead and close this okay we're back again for a quick update on this trade here as you can see it's it's done move past the the 90 pip tool there and and made uh, you know a nice push below it came back retested it what I'm going to go ahead and do here now is, is move my stop to just where my take profit would have been should I have been, uh, you know, not in the market or not watching the market and and left my uh, take profit in the in the market. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that here really quick. And it's right above the 90 pip tool there. And normally when I'm going to be moving my stops. I'm gonna or moving my take profit like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna be moving it with the cycle of the market. Okay, last time you saw that my stop was right above this this area right here, and that's because the market found some support, came back up, made a little bit of a higher high, then came out came down and closed below it. Once it closes below, the market has made a cycle, even though it's a small one. Well, then. Uh, you know, so we go ahead and protect as much profit as we can. The fact is here that I haven't waited for for this to close below this level down down here, mainly because the market has given one of our our smart money candle patterns that that shows us that that they're trapping traders and and if they're not, then then I want to go ahead and and keep my as much profit as possible. So we'll go ahead and pause this and we'll. Uh, come back and see how this thing works out if it comes back hits my stop or comes down you see I got my take profit down here set at the uh, just above the the average daily range so we'll just pause this and see where it goes from here and we'll see you shortly
Okay, we're back here, and hopefully this thing's just about to tag my take profit. Oh, 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 so close. Anyway, I almost, uh, I almost moved it. You know, you see the momentum that's that's pushing down here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it hit it, and and. We'll take the money and run at this point. We're we're 123 pips up. Let's go ahead and we'll pull that really quick. Ah, uh, yeah, 124, somewhere around there. Hasn't quite tagged it yet, but it's darn close. So we'll go ahead and bring this video to a close. Hope this helps you guys in your trading. Y'all take care and have a good trading day.